Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. There was a magnitude 4.0 earthquake in a really rare area in Inginga. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'm sorry. Spain. Normally, uh, the earthquakes happen there along the uh, southern border of Spain, but not up here towards the north. I want to thank everyone for joining me. Thank you to all the new subscribers. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. I hope you're enjoying your weekend. The last time there was an earthquake in this location was 15 years ago, and it was a magnitude 2.8. Um, let's see. Also 15 years ago, there was a magnitude 4.1. Um, that was in 2008. You can see the majority of the earthquakes, um, were probably a 2.5. There was also a magnitude 3.1 15 years ago. Yeah, but most of them have been in the magnitude of uh, twos, maybe greater. Here on IGN.ES, you can see the location they have here for the earthquake. There's been some other ones um, here on the African plate. Give you a little bit better idea about the Eurasian plate and the African plate. Here we have the um, Arabian plate, the Indian plate. Uh, the Mediterranean Sea. Let me bring this up so you can see more of it. And then we got the North American plate. I'm going to try and make this bigger. Can you see the little arrows right there? Okay, I made it bigger. Yeah, the direction that the Eurasian plate is moving. And then we got spreading through here. This is the North American plate. I also found for you a seismic risk map for Spain. Yeah, you can see down here where the African plate and the Eurasian plate collide out here in the Mediterranean. That's the greatest risk of earthquakes. But up where we had the one today, yeah, it's only considered maybe moderate to light. I keep saying how earthquakes are increasing around the world. And they do have a map going back to 1950 showing the earthquakes for this location. You can see just before 1980 how they started to rise um there was let's see uh, i have to bring this up if it'll show me no that's probably um yeah 2008 when they started to have the swarm of earthquakes there and then in 2010 it settled down and we got a very tiny spike going on now you can hardly even see it two felt reports were sent in to emsc saying they felt this earthquake it was 31 kilometers west um, was the first report and they said they only felt a slight vibration so that would be about 19 miles um, to the west a little bit farther but they said that the uh, vibration lasted about 10 seconds now, IGN said it was a magnitude 4.3, and they gave an intensity level of 4, which means it was felt indoors by many people, outdoors by a few. At night, some of may have been woken up if they were still sleeping or resting. Dishes, windows, and doors would have been rattling. Automobiles rocked noticeably. The largest earthquakes that they have had in Spain uh, most recent was probably in 2011. That was a magnitude 5.1 and nine people were killed. In 1884, there was a magnitude 6.7. That earthquake killed 1,200 people and at least 3,000 people were injured. Yeah, just like the Bible says, we're going to start seeing more and more earthquakes in very diverse areas. Yeah, this is an unusual area to have such a large one. What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please like, share, uh, because that will help with the ranking here on YouTube. And maybe they'll 
um, send out my video notifications. I don't know. And enjoy your weekend. God bless you all. Bye. Thank you.